This is a Grape Solar 265 watt solar panel. I got a kind of a long run going here into the garage. This is a temporary setup. Wires run through here and through the window for now. That will be resolved. I have a Midnight Solar, the KID, MPPT controller. Right now it's in absorb mode. I have two 150 amp hour batteries running in parallel and I'm using some pretty heavy gauge wire here but this is a temporary setup this is just to do testing so all this will be cleaned up and it will be fixed and it will look nice and the cabling will be uh, made shorter here is the unique 9.3 cubic uh, foot freezer slash refrigerator it's in freezer mode it's got a nice fit and finish down here there you go it's at minus 18 degrees celsius it's 13.3 uh, volts it's not running at the moment when it runs, the compressor will kick in and the voltage will drop here. Let's open her up. It's got a really nice fit and finish. It's been running about, oh, two weeks now. And I don't have that much stuff in it. Uh, the light works well at night. As you can see, it's kind of frosted over. The sliding glass is really nice. Everything in here so far has been really frozen. There's ice that's frozen. Uh, I don't have much at the bottom right now. Um, I will obviously fill it up. I do like the fit and finish of this unit. It's been working really well, keeping stuff frozen very good. Uh, when the compressor kicks in, it's not loud at all. So this has been going around two weeks now, and it's been running great off the one solar panel and the two batteries. It gets down to about 12.3 volts uh, by morning time. It could keep going and going with those two batteries, so I'm sure it could run all three or four days without uh, being recharged. Those are really heavy-duty batteries. This is my unique uh, freezer slash refrigerator. It's a 9.3 uh, cubic foot freezer. It's in the freezer mode, and so far I'm liking it very much. It's doing what it's supposed to do. Again, the fit and finish is very nice. So I'll see if I can get you some updates, but uh, the only real thing I need to do at this point is put some more food in there, uh, clean up all this wiring so it's more professional, and uh, I think this is going to work just fine for me. Maybe that'll help you turn on the light. So it's in absorb mode. It's only using, you know, 8.6 amps at this point. It's a 13.9 volts, uh, at least showing, that's what it's showing on the uh, controller. When it kicks in, it goes up, it'll start going up to maybe uh, 13 amps. So that's uh, what's going on here. I'll maybe make another video. Well, as we speak, the compressor has kicked in.
need to help the camera when I get my finger on there. Sorry about that, guys. So it ran up to 10.2 amps at 13.9 volts. And let's see if we can hear what it sounds like. So far, I'm just really happy with this unit. Like I said, the fit and finish is excellent. It's not drawing too much power, at least for the, you know, the amount of batteries and solar that I have going into it. It's working just fine. There you go.